what's going on folks so as promised in my last video uh, when I talked about the just the general stuff about the um, un unbreakable crystal warrior stuff the uh, the video I had a few days ago um, I mentioned about uh, some of the rewards for doing the crystal warrior um, section of the game sort of a side game um, some of the rewards are some really cool armor sets for 75 for each job I mentioned I was going to talk about that and I will here in this video But I also mentioned that I will go over the cat's eye content specific part of the BG wiki And I will do that all all in this video. So check it out. So let me start with the base stuff here So um, I'll go put a link in the discord. I'm oh, sorry uh, link in the comments link in the description uh, with the uh, with the cat's eye specific page for BG Wiki. As you can see here, it is, well, I can just tell you also, bg-wiki.com slash ffxi slash cat's eye xi underscore content. I'll put a link in the description. So I'm here on the, what I guess is the, the base page for this uh, cat's eye content. It is the overview of just a bunch of different stuff here. Um, and some of this stuff is actually new to me because I haven't played on the server for a while. So some of this will be new. I'll just kind of go over whatever I see here, but definitely I'll hit on the Crystal Warrior armor uh, stuff at the um, at some point in the video. Anyway, so um, the Crystal Warrior page right here. Okay, um, looks like there's some daily chests or daily quests here. Um, this might not necessarily have to do anything with Crystal Warrior, but every day we're setting at midnight. Um, there, are a random series of daily objectives that for pl cat's eye players completing the objectives rewards players with obsidian fragments currency as well as boost in domain invasion points they receive by 10 percent per objective okay well that's interesting the domain invasion section of the game is to uh you have to accumulate a lot of domain invasion points to um acquire um, weapon skills uh certain weapon skills like i think they are domain invasion points are the not Empyrean weapon skills, but I think they are the um, the merit weapon skills, like the Shijin Spiral, the Realm Razor, the um, Ruinator, that type of thing. Sorry. Um, so I think those domain invasion points are for those, and you get bonus points for finishing these quests. That's cool. That's cool. Um, Obsidian Fragments is the currency, I guess. Um, Fish sticks gives you 100. You find a secret chest. Of, um, find a secret chest. I wonder what that means. Murdoch here gives you um, uh, defeat a select type of quantity of monster. Okay, so it's. I guess it's just the, these um, goblin quest dailies are are doled out at a random at random by uh, malcontent goblins of Lord Juno. So um, craft and sign a random item. Okay, defeat an NM. Um, obtain a random item. So I need to look into those. I need to see what uh, what those are all about. I haven't tried that yet. Uh, reset option. If you find an objective assigned to you too difficult, you can have the option to reset it. Uh, the, trade the goblin exactly to 50,000 gil and the objective will change. Okay. So I guess defeat an NM probably gives you a, a certain NM to defeat and maybe you can't defeat it yet, then you can trade 50k. Okay. Um, daily point exchange. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, so, Obsidian Fragments are uh, rewarded for player upon completion of the quests. Uh, to obtain endgame rewards, you must have cleared certain content in order to uh, and, and obtain the title granted. Okay. So, uh, let's just see here. Alright, so, you got some stuff here, random stuff. Um, level 1 items, that's cool. Some of these items can be found in the um, login points too, so you don't necessarily need to worry about buying them here. Spriggan clubs, um, eye patch, spelunker's helm, kind of some mostly um, van vanity stuff here. Um, arc the arc weapons, that's cool. Um, Hakutaku eyes, okay. Um, cobra cap, okay, we're getting just some, some decent stuff here. Cobra gear, um, cobra other cobra gear, fourth gear, some stuff from the crystal crystal war area era. Uh, ooh, novennial ring. That could be cool. Um, nothing wrong with that. Um, dinner stuff. Okay, okay. Let's get to some better stuff here. Ooh, some crafting materials. All right. Could be useful. Ah, okay. We got some assault gear. More miscellaneous utility stuff. 
Um, let's see here. Be Worm King suit. Behemoth suit. Why is that not giving me behemoth suit? Doesn't work. Okay. Uh, oops, some mounts. Okay. Um, allied ring. That's a cool ring. It's only five uses though, so whatever. Okay, we got some some nice old Isle uh, boss uh, gear here. Hoopo Freed's ring. Okay. Rarap cat plus one. Of course, that's that's cool. Rahas ring. All right. Right now, actually, if you're um, the Rahas, Thomas, and Sattva rings are available in the login points. So heads up there. That's for the month of June, I believe. Because I just saw them yesterday, so that would have already been this month, yeah. Uh, Sprout Beret. Okay. Although new players should have already caught the Sprout Beret when they started, when they popped onto the server. Um, okay, so. Ooh, Cypher Cornelia. So a lot of interesting stuff here. I guess, I mean, some of this stuff is obviously, is obviously looks like it's expensive. So I'm not sure, since I haven't done them, how long it will take to accumulate all those. But um, here's the reward. I guess these are the Obsidian Fragments. Um, so it could take a while to get some of this stuff. But they're there anyway. Uh, so that's a new system I haven't seen. Domain Invasion, yeah, here's the, um, here's what I talked about. The Domain Invasion is, uh, is an optional... Well, Certain places you go, certain home points are, uh, for example, the um, the undulating confluence in Quifum Island uh, gives you the option to go to either um, Esha Zita or to Domain Invasion, and that's, so that's one of the places. There's three different places to enter Domain Invasion. Uh, it's not a, actually in, in Esha Zita or Eshka Ruan. It um, it's actually in a different place. Um, but it's basically amounts to killing those uh, those items or those monsters, and yeah, so that's the main invasion. Um, as for uh, Amphisbena, Tortuga, Batosai, or Bahamut, and Helga. I guess Helga Helga's a new fourth different a fourth uh, um, domain invasion place. That's interesting. Um, okay, uh, Pearl Scale. Okay, that's parts of part of that. So this just gives you some details about uh, Domain Invasion and what to expect with the monsters and what the drops are. Uh, okay, so this is all about Domain Invasion. I kind of know about those. Feel free to look at those as you uh, as you wish or as you want to. And Nizal Isle here. Oh, they got some official Nizal Isle stuff, so I guess they finished those. I actually um, did Nizal Isle as part of the testing that when they were trying to get Nizal Isle working again. Um, so I, I know I have a bunch of floors saved up, but I haven't finished it. I don't think I finished it on my character, but something I need to do. Um, got some sky stuff here. Um, additional, this is, uh, I don't think this is new stuff. This is just stuff that uh, was already in the game when I was playing, but then now they have it in a uh, in BG wiki here. Sky 2.0, I haven't looked into, so I'm gonna have to look into that. Um, let's see here. Yeah, this is all Sky 2.0 stuff, um, and this is where you get, hmm, looks like some um, uh, Pandemonium Morton drops are, you can be found here, um, salvage gear, and uh, to make your uh, salvage, uh, sub level 75 salvage pieces. Okay, so that's, uh, that's the general main page here, let me go back up. And go into systems. That's what we got here. Okay, Ionic weapon skill unlock. That is the um, 300,000 conquest points in pillar standing. Allied notes, um, conquest, uh, and then 50,000 that should be some domain innovation. Yeah, that's the Ionic weapon skills. That's the ones that were our um, our merit point. I guess they're not working for under merit points, so you have to do it this way. Um, augment stuff. There's a way to augment your AF plus one gear now. I haven't. That wasn't introduced when I was playing last year or so, so that'll be new to me. I need to go and check that out too. Um, here's some stuff that uh, anybody can do at any time. Um, you can get yourself an Iridol staff. Since, since um, Synergy is not in the game yet, they found a way to um, get you the certain, like a uh, Synergy, popular Synergy items in this way. Uh, custom commands, okay, we kind of know about those already. I know that the Custom commands will not work with the Crystal Warrior stuff because it's uh, pretty much cat's eye on hard mode, um, if that makes sense. 
uh, see here some of the stuff that I already know about some that you should uh, take a look at if you're interested in this server ooh Beastmaster uh, one complaint I had about Cat's Eye when I played last year um, which was not all not a whole year ago it was more like six seven eight months ago whenever I stopped I forgot um, Beastmaster wasn't working quite right but it says here, we have adjusted Beastmaster Jug Pets in order to address the seriously lacking attributes. The adjustments were made in two parts, Ready Strengths and Stats. Okay. Um, ready Strength. All Jugs have had their damage dealing ready abilities increased based on the following factors. Job level, X divided by 75 of main job, X divided by 37 of sub job. Charisma Stat, X divided by 43. This does not include base charisma, only the plus charisma. Okay. Um, what this means is the formula of, of for increase is percent of max player level plus percent of charisma stat. Examples. Okay. Um, ready damage increase at 75 with charisma 80, 43. Okay. I'll look into that maybe later. But basically, the gist is uh, the ready moves stats have been increased. I have a 75 beast because. Uh, I'm not sure if it's changed, but back when I played, in order to unlock Geomancer and Runefencer, you need to have... No, you just need to have six. Six jobs at 75, and beat Matt on six jobs. That's what it required. But I did, went ahead and uh, leveled up all of my... Um, all, the, uh, all the first 15 jobs so I could get a Matt's cap. And I got my Matt's cap on this character. Um, one of them was Beastmaster, obviously. And in the meantime, but Beastmaster, I pretty much treated like a uh, like a kind of a gimped warrior, and because the the jug pets weren't working quite right, but now they are, it seems. So that's cool. Uh, disclaimers: You would never suffer damage loss. It'll only be subject to an increase in damage. Okay. Um, all jug pets have had their defense increased by five ten percent. Okay. Um, the following jug pets have had their have had have been granted additional enmity for tanking purposes. Okay. Cool. Courier carry. Panzer Galahad and the normal quality variants. Okay, Corsairs, AF quest, all jobs does not work and does not function correctly. And as a workaround, speak to Managing and Ottergan to receive your Corsairs tricorn. Okay. Um, Geomancer has some specific. These stats, these Geomancer stuff is was initially for I 109, I think, or I 119. Um, gear and they made um, custom uh, custom adjustments to those to that to that gear to um, so they were able to actually you know not be overpowered on this server. So here are some stats for the Geomancer stuff and I assume Rune Fencer down here. Yeah, okay. And artifact quests for those. Okay. Um, login campaigns are as as I uh, as I have uh, mentioned. Locking campaigns uh, run year round. Okay, ten point items are looks like there's ten point items are gonna stay, and fifty point items are on a cycle. So right now I believe we're on. Oh, this is always available. Um, right now, which one are we on? I looked at it the other day. Which one are we on at the moment? I th I'm not sure which one we're on at the moment. Um, it says current cycle October. Oh, I think we're um we're on the October cycle. Okay, so we're at the moment we're uh, they're offering the uh, Halloween type stuff. And for 200 points, a lot of uh, a lot of vanity items and cool like little. Uh, um, I think we're on this one right now. Yeah, I remember seeing the uh, Ophelia knuckles and the. Uh, the Fermian sword, that's the, like the lightsaber type sword that comes out when you uh, when you engage with an enemy. So I think we're on cycle one for the costumes. And then it looks like the 500 point items stay the same throughout the whole thing. Um, 1,000 point items, these stay, are always available. Um, and right now, what cycle are we on for... I don't know, whatever, you can go in and see. Anyway, so it's, here's uh, all the... Uh, all the stuff that it, basically the 1500 point items are the, really the ones that are really valuable the ones you need to look at and um, see how you want to spend your points right now i believe we're on cycle one and also yes cycle one yeah so if you're going to join the game right now now is a good time to join because the white raw rub cap is only available every two three four five six months and that is treasure hunter plus one cap that you can get for 1500 um 
um, 1500 login points. So now is a good time to join because you can get a free Rahas Sattva or Thomas ring um, and a white Rarab cap. The Shaper Shawl also is incredible on the server. Uh, Shaper Shawl includes or increases your. Um, actually, is the Shaper Shawl up here too? Yeah, it's up here too. So never mind. Don't spend 1500 points on that, spend 1000 points on that. But that is a plus 25% increase to skill gain rate for your crafting. But for sure, White Rod Rob Cap for Treasure Hunter plus one is really good. Oh, there's one right there too. So maybe it's every three months. Okay, either way, it's a good thing to get. Uh, Mythic Weapon Creation is kind of done in a similar way, but not quite the same. Here's a description of all those. Um, trusts, uh, let's see. So they have all the trusts available here, uh, broken up by um, roles in the party. So it looks like there's plenty here to go over and look at. Um, yeah. Alright, so let's go back up and get to the ne next section. Quests. I assume this is specific quests for... They're not going to have like every quest here because the quests are pretty much the same as the... As the uh, as, the, as long as there are era-specific quests for the rest of the wiki page, you don't necessarily need to go into this section for those. I guess this is cat's eye specific quests. Uh, and this, these include, um, I believe, since these are kind of like incomplete, and they're showing the Sandoria ring and lizard belt with an augment. So yeah, these are going to be the crystal warrior quests. Um, so these will get filled out as people do them. Uh, so maybe I'll create an account here and I can help fill in this as we go. Um, NPCs, I guess these are NPCs for the, um, oh, these are custom NPCs that are involved with the server. This one here exchanges um, uh, ancient beast coins, uh, Goblin mystery box details, Medaging's puppet master shop. These are, okay, so it's uh, all puppet master stuff. Uh, Garbaggio Cursed Armor Eater, yes, this is, uh, this is crucial to know about. Um, not necessarily for this video, but just in general. Um, exchanging any cursed armor will re yield tatters of that specific uh, corresponding cursed armor. So, um, if you're a crafter and you're crafting your own stuff and you make a bunch of uh, normal quality um, earthen hands or something, then you can exchange them all for uh, tatters and then upgrade your cursed armor, uh, your uncursed armor, uh, with uh, the tatters to get uh, all the, uh, the cool bonus stats for them. And Toto here, and Toto is a custom uh, XI NPC in Lower Juno. It's like you know, grab the pl give the players halvers and semis. Okay, if they meet the requirements. Hmm. I think I bought semi -lo semi lafina already. Halver, I'm not sure about halver, but okay. Um, organ harvester, that's new. Uh, organ harvester is a custom NPC. Located in Port Juno, this NPC can store and retrieve organs of uh, Temenos and Apollyon item. Okay. Uh, store and retrieve any organ or Temenos Apollyon item. Items used for armor, uh, artifact armor, CNMs, and in the name of science. So that's cool. An organ store. That's awesome. I don't think it was there when I was there last time. Spicy Traveler. That's interesting. That's new. Um, the Spicy Traveler is located in the auction house in Lower Juno. This sexy beast can will warp lucky damage. Will warp lucky dames and dudes to the current active domain invasion. Well, that's awesome. So just hang out by Spicy Traveler and let's play 2000 and go right to that. That's really good, actually. Um, players who have completed two or more dailies warp for free. Okay. After 100 trips with Spicy, he will graciously, graciously reward you with a domain ring. This will warp you there with the same, the same as he would. This ring has a finite number of charges. Once consumed, you may recharge it for 50 charge the ring for 50k to the spicy traveler oh, that's cool that was one of the issues that i had with domain invasion it was uh, annoying to have to like when you're done with one warp and then find out which next one and then go to the next one with this guy you can just stay there's probably a home point yeah it's that right at the auction house you can put your home point in your in the in lower juno here and then just go whenever you, you're warping back and warp back and go back to spicy traveler pay 2 2k that's awesome good addition guys um Sylvie's Geomancer Magic Shop, okay. Um, and Theodore's Chair Shop. Theodore? Chair Shop. Okay, so this video is already 20 minutes long. I'm gonna hurry up a little bit here. Um, tech document. Okay, so this is all about installing it in the launcher and, okay. 
so that's cool. Um, I was having an issue with my gamepad yes, uh, the other day on my laptop. I couldn't get it to work. I didn't even know this page existed. I should have. Uh, yes, definitely look at this page because I had trouble getting my gamepad to work. I used the pad tool. I only did the first option and I was dumb and didn't do any second options. And yeah, so yeah, yeah, it was frustrating. I should have known. So. Yes. All right, let's get to the meat here. Crystal Warrior stuff. Content is currently in development and will be released 10 6 23 10 um, I think they mean 6 10 23 because that is this Saturday. They, they're probably using, this is day, month, year. Yeah, they're using different date format there. Come on. USA, we're the most important ones, guys. Come on. Uh, let's see, Crystal Warrior Game Mode is an addition to the server that aims to provide a unique level of challenge for players who don't wish to, who wish to for a unique experience outside the modern QOL changes of the game. Okay, so it's basically um, a mixture of Cat's Eye and old school um, Final Fantasy. Some quality of life, maybe, outside the modern QOL chain. That's going to be the frustrating part. There's going to be the ability to use two trusts, but... Uh, players who wish to uh, participate in Crystal Warrior mode must register a new account. Did that already. I created my uh, my characters. Uh, two modes, standard, unbreakable. I went over this the other day. So you, you refer to that video if you want some details about, uh, about the differences and stuff. Restrictions I went over. Content I pretty much went over that too. Rewards I went over. Armor sets, that's what we're going to. So, Crystal Warrior armor. Here's what you've all been waiting for. All right. So, um, I can't see everything on the page here. Let me try to make myself a little bit, uh, try to adjust here. Bear with me. I don't think we need to worry. I don't think it's a big deal to worry about my, there we go. That's good enough. That works. Whatever. Bear with me. Anyway, um, so, looks like the Warrior set is the Sakpata set, and, okay, let's just kind of get an idea. There's a, um, there's a video that I watched the other day, it was on, it happened last week, and it kind of went over, like, the, the themes and the, and the, um, the idea behind the, these custom sets. For example, the Monk set here is clearly an attempt to make Monk more tankable. Um, HP 5% for the... Nagasomen, uh, Enmity plus five, Ogby's Wisdom. I don't know what that is. Does anybody know what Ogby's Wisdom is? Is that something new in retail that I don't know about, or is it custom for this? I don't know what that is. Please comment below if you know what Ogby's Wisdom is. Agility five, Dex five. Uh, clearly, the Enmity plus five on the body and the head, and the Enmity plus three on the feet is clearly meant to be extra tanking. Reduces enmity, decrease when taking damage. Monk, uh, tanky, counter plus three, tanky. Agility, dex, um, accuracy, attack, tactical guard, Altana's blessing. I don't know what that is. But uh, the term here, grants, is something that they don't normally have. Uh, they have, I think Monk is tactical guard in retail, but later on, maybe not, uh, after, maybe not before 75. And uh, Altana's blessing, I don't know what that is. Maybe let me see if I can find out what Altana's Blessing is here on, uh, let me just, uh, open a new window here. Let's see if I can find out. Altana's Blessing. Hmm. I don't see anything, anything specific about Altana's Blessing. It might be custom for Cat's Eye. We'll have to find out what that is. Um, Counter, grants counter, counter 2, so that's even more increase in counter. Guarding skill plus 10. Um, attack, accuracy, guarding skill. Yeah, this is definitely the theme for the monk set is tankiness. Uh, and I think they went over like the themes for each set in uh, that video. Um, but I don't have that handy to attach to this video, so I'm just going to go over these. Uh, some of them anyway. And see if I can glean out the, uh, the theme. Um, so it looks like a warrior here, uh, 
the head seems to suggest that I they should be using shields and uh, shield mastery here, shield block, shield skill, uh, enmity, damage taken minus that, HP plus, um, sword skill, retaliation plus five. Is it retaliation only for two handers? Let's let's, uh, let's check that. I thought retaliation was only for two handers. Maybe not. Um, based on main hand delay, uh, retaliation rate based on main hand delay. Maybe not two handers then. Sorry. So disregard. So anyway, um, there's a counter effect uh, bonus happening here. So it's very much suggesting that the warriors would like to be tanking the shield defense bonus. Um, shield skill again. Triple attack, that's cool. And the plus axe skill in case you want to use axe. Okay. So the theme for that is a, a one-handed uh, with a shield tanking situation. So they kind of want warriors to do that. Um, white mage over here. Um, refresh, damage taken, auto regen. Okay. Um, cure potency. I mean, what else can you do with white mage? You're never going to make white mage a tank. You're never going to make white mage a DPS. So you're probably just uh, making white mage supplementing other sets of this for this white mage set, white mage stuff. Um, I can't imagine you would give white mage another role, you know. Um, refreshing the head though is nice for for white mage. Uh, let's see here. And also keep in mind that there is um, artifact plus one augments too that I haven't really uh, delved deep into. Maybe I'll make another video about that. Um, but those augments here are also going to give supplemental, maybe there, I think there's going to be other re refresh sources on the white mage for, for those sets too. I know Monk, for, Monk, for example, has a good, um, leg armor, like a plus 10 vitality, plus 10 strength on the leg, I think, if I remember correctly. So, um, maybe if they're not tanking and they're doing weapon skills, then, then you would macro in that AF1 for weapon skills, but then go back to this tanking gear. So, um, yeah. So, Ven Venaya set. Um, so, the Venayas. Let's see here. You know what I'll do? You're probably already seeing it if I have the ambition enough. Um, when I talk about one set, I will put on a, um, a. On the screen, I will put on a. Edit this out. So, the Venaya set here. Venaya Hood. Or this is Black Mage stuff. Vanya. Vanya Hood obviously is for uh, this top pick is for enhancing magic for Black Mage. Hmm. Enhances Stone Skin, Magic Accuracy, Magic Magic Attack Bonus, grants Magic Burst Bonus four. Hmm. Wow. Um, magic Burst Bonus. Um, let's see here. Occult Acumen. That is something in the game. What is Occult Acumen? Grants a TP bonus when damaged damage when dealing damage with elemental or dark magic. Okay. They're not, uh, they're not suggesting that they're going to be TPing, are they? Accuracy plus 12, ac well, accuracy and attack, strength plus 6, staff skill, store TP, haste. Maybe they are suggesting that Black Mage should be meleeing. Interesting. Okay, let's go to Red Mage. Red Mage, ooh, Red Mage, obviously, Red Mage is the malignant stuff. It's, uh, Red Mage is already, uh, that, uh, the chapeau, tabard, gloves, tights, boots, that's already, like, a Red mage theme set right there, so, that's cool. Um, uh, Malignance, chapeau, Enhancing Magic Skill, Enhancing Magic Duration, Raina Mard's Inspiration, that is new, too, I don't know what that is. Very interesting, guys. Um... Maybe I'll watch that whole video that, uh, that I only saw part of. Maybe they go over some of this stuff. Accuracy and attack. Shield skill. Damage taken. Shield mastery. Uh, okay. Uh, furnace blessing. What? Um, furnace. You know, Beastmaster's uh, armor is really furry, so their, their furnace is really high anyway. So, <laughs> never mind. That's dumb. Sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm, I'm proud of that one. Okay. Anyway, Malignant's Tight Sword Skill, Haste, Dexterity, Agility, Grand Fencer. They want me um, Red Mage to be meleeing also. So, yeah. Thief. 
ranged accuracy, ranged attack. Attack, evasion skill, enmity plus five, grants a critical attack bonus. Treasure hunter plus one on the hands. So you don't you don't feel like you're, like you're forced to wear your relic gloves all the time. Accuracy plus 10, attack plus 10, trick attack damage. Dagger skill, dual wield. Grants dual wield. Grants dual wield. I think Thief didn't get dual wield in retail until 83. That means Thief doesn't have dual wield already on this character. Unless they're subbing ninja or dancer. So that is a suggestion that maybe so that set of dual wield plus one that doesn't really give you dual wield grants dual wield gives you dual wield so they're saying like maybe thief can sub warrior now because they have dual wield and then all the gear that they can find with dual wield plus can reduce their the um reduce their um delay but they're definitely suggesting that uh they need to be i mean they don't necessarily need to sub ninja or sub dancer they might still, depending on the situation, but enemy plus five, trick attack. Enemy plus three, enemy plus three for the trick attack. Triple attack plus two percent. Okay, increases trick attack damage. All right, I see that, I see there, all right. Uh, and that is the Adamar set. Paladin is the founder set. If you know that uh, if uh, the founders, breastplate founders, gauntlets, that's the set that, um, that August uses. August uses the Founder set, so that's pretty cool. Um, Founder's Corona, Great Sword skill, Paladin, Great Sword, uh, Enemy plus five for Sword TP. Grants Smite. Remind me, what is Smite? It's already a thing. Smite improves the power of physical attacks when equipped with a hand-to-hand -hand or two-handed weapons. You know, if you are if you are familiar with the the, the August Trust, he has a weapon skill where he uses hand-to-hand. But he normally uses a shield, a sword and shield. But I do see him weapon skilling with a hand-to-hand -hand weapon skill. Um, improves the power of physical attacks when equipped with hand-to-hand -hand or two-handed weapon, which seems to be the case for for uh, the set here. Sorry, great sword skill. Magic defense bonus, magic evasion. Great sword skill, double attack. Damage limit plus. That's pretty cool. So they're kind of trying to get uh, Paladin to do some more, do extra damage. Very interesting. More damage on Paladin. And already got some enmity stuff because uh, there's going to be there's some sets that you can get uh, augmented enmity. Um, for example, the um, the um, the cursed set. The um, don't tell me uh, the Kaiser set. Uh, you can get uh, enmity bonuses on those. They're kind of encouraging you to maybe not necessarily do that, even though that might be some vested slot for other for certain cases. Sword skill. All right, um, sword TP. Sorry, great sword skill. Critical hit rate. Yeah, there's definitely uh, uh, encouraging more damage here from a paladin. All right, so dark gets the gladi set. Gladi set is uh, looks like for in this case the gladi set is. Strength, strength, agility, um, dex, strength, uh, scythe skill, plus enmity. Hmm. Enmity. I have a dark one enmity. Interesting. Uh, strength 10, dex 10, accuracy attack. That's refresh. Grants attack bonus 5. Okay. Um, damage taken minus 3%, store GP. More enmity. More enmity. More enmity. Enhances resistance to death. Okay, um, a lot of enmity, a lot of um, a lot more enmity than I would expect for a Dark Knight to want. What's going on with that tactical parry? Tactical parry. I mean, tactical parry. I think you maybe you get like a TP bonus or something like that when you're parrying or something like that. Um, but when do you want a Dark Knight to get hate? I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Let me know in the comments. So that's cool. The Gladi set looks cool. Um, okay, Beastmaster. Here we go. Here we go. Beastmaster gets the Valoris set. Um, we got uh, haste on the headpiece. Cool. Reward, po reward, and pet accuracy. All right. Everything is as far as I haven't looked at the rest of this, but as far as I'm concerned, every piece should have a pet bonus. All right. Um, pet accuracy plus ten. Okay. 
This one's pet ability plus five. That's cool. Pet attack plus ten. Pet haste. Uh, pet haste. All right. All right. Um, reward plus fifteen. That probably fifteen percent bonus to reward on the headpiece. Um, okay. Accuracy attack. Damage taken plus five. Grant stout servant. That is a uh, that is a damage reduction for your pet. That's cool. Um, regen effect aug augments call beast. So okay. So. Uh, I wonder if that's the same Augments Call Beast as your Relic Hands. It might be. It may not, though. We'll see. Grant's Fencer. That encourages um, the use of a one-handed weapon and shield. One-handed axe, in this case. Axe skill. Beast 5. Okay. Um, scythe skill plus 10. In case you really want to use the Scythe on Beast, I guess. Um, there are certain Scythes that are good for Beast. This is a 10 accuracy and 10 attack for Scythe specifically. Alright. So that is the Beastmaster set. Um, yeah, I'm one of my strategies that I'm thinking about using in um, um, this new uh, Crystal Warrior area. I'm looking to unlock Beastmaster and level it to 37, and use it as a sub job, um, because having um, if it works out the same way as in retail and some other servers. That your pet is ba your pet's um, your ability to charm um, is based on your charisma, and not the uh, charisma of your current your current charisma, and not like this the level of your sub uh, the level of the beastmaster sub. So if I am level um, fifty something with a sub twenty five, I'll be charm ability to charm things at my main level and not my sub level. Um, so I will be able to give myself a a decent tank. When I'm soloing with a couple trusts or something, I could maybe uh, be warrior, I'm sorry, um, or whatever, uh, monk beastmaster or something, and I give myself a tank, uh, a tanking, more of a tanking pet. Maybe I'll charm like um, a, a a crab or something. Maybe I'll charm a crab um, and then use that uh, crab as a tank and call it to. Uh, like to us, uh, like a support um, trust and a healing trust, and I'll be the damage dealer, and I'll have a tank, and I'll kind of be able to have a four-person party there to solo a little bit. Um, so that is going to be a strategy that I use using Sub Beastmaster because this, if I can't have a full party of trusts, then having an extra member of the party as Sub Beast that is decently strong. I can't do any jug pets at the with without being Beast main, but. And again, maybe I'll go Beast Main. Who knows? Um, anyway, that's Beastmaster. Video is already getting long. I'll try to get through the rest. There's a lot of this, a lot of um, uh, sets here that I'm not going to be able to give you much information on. I'm not going to be able to tell you what's best for um, Geomancer. I'm not really familiar. Lard, for example, I assume more charisma is better. Um, damage taken, uh, accuracy. That like, seem to be indicating that uh, they're okay with Bard's TPing um, with their Pursuers set. Um, Pursuer set doesn't seem to be the, the most ideal looking set. Well, well, the cloak there, the doublet is kind of, could be Barty. The hat, beret, is kind of Barty. So maybe, maybe that'll work. Um, increase a song effect duration, small spell, spellcasting time. Grant Spencer again. A lot of people are getting Fencer. Uh, dagger skill. Okay, so they're really encouraging some TPing on Bard here, some meleeing. Razor with the Herculean set. Okay. Axe skill. Okay, double attack, haste. Range accuracy, ranged attack, conserve TP. Um, okay, so that if they use a weapon skill, they have the chance to save some of the um, save TP or conserve TP. Means you get some TP, extra TP back after a weapon skill, or maybe when you use a weapon skill, you don't use as much. I uh, forget which one's which. Uh, magic defense bonus, haste again, regen, uh, marksmanship skill, accuracy again, true shot. I believe that's an accuracy type thing. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, snapshot is a possible, um, like a like a really fast, a fast, uh, a fast activating uh, like a arrow shot. Um, so a ranged, a ranged uh, attack that happens really quickly instead of waiting for the full delay. Um, or is that rapid shot? Enhances snapshot. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not super familiar with with ranger as much as some other jobs, but you get the idea. A chironic set, or I like to call it the chronic set. Um, so Summoner gets the Chronic set, I assume. 
they're still encouraging some some um, some TPing staff skill bonus there. Um, is there a just a regular accuracy and attack bonus anywhere? Defense or damage taken minus stout servant for your avatar. That's cool. That's like, once again the damage reduction for your pet. Uh, adds refresh effect on the body. Um, blood pack damage. Blood pack ability delay. Summoning skill. Enhances avatar attack. Blood boon. I forgot what blood boon is. Blood pack ability delay. Okay. Summoning magic skill. Um, it is not super encouraging for um, for meleeing, but they get a little bit with the staff skill there. So it looks like um, summoner is still pretty basic summoner. Uh, all right, samurai. Here we go. Augments third eye. Not sure what that means, but maybe it means you get uh, extra extra third eye eyes. Um, enhances Zanshin, probably increases the Zanshin rate. Um, accuracy, attack, parrying skill, damage taken. Okay, so. Uh, weapon skill accuracy, conserve TP, store TP of course, magic defense bonus, magic evasion, region, augments third eye again. Um, there isn't really any enmity stuff on here, so that they're not suggesting that you should be any, doing any extra tanking on Samurai, but Samurai can already tank pretty well on certain things. Um, with um, third eye and Sigan, Sigan, um, Samurai can tank pretty well anyway, and they get the uh, the Ryo set. Okay, the Mpaka set for Ninja. This is like one of the best sets in retail, uh, with all the augments and stuff. Uh, magic evasion, evasion skill, agility dex. Okay, uh, damage taken minus, enmity plus reduces enmity decrease when taking damage. Tactical parry, um, throwing skill, parrying, agility strength. Okay, magic accuracy enhances ninjutsu damage. Magic burst bonus. Okay. Mpaka Boots is Accuracy Attack, Haste, Ninja Tool, Expertise. So I believe that's, um, you have a chance of not using the tool once you use a ninjutsu. You have a chance of keeping the tool you just used. Um, so it's, that's uh, nothing really crazy new here. It's basically just uh, um, better stuff to tank with, I guess, and maybe some more damage for ninjutsu spells. Odyssean Attire is the Dragoon set. That's pretty cool. Um, looks like... Uh, it's probably going to be D DPS type stuff, D damage dealing stuff. Interruption rate down. Hmm. Red strafe four. Damage taken. Wyvern damage taken minus. Adds regen. Wyvern regen. Haste on the hands. Uh, double attack on the head there. Accuracy bonus three. Um, that's pretty cool early on. Or um, at this point anyway, 75. But it's early for accuracy bonus three probably. Um, magic defense bonus. Magic damage taken. Magic evasion. Nothing crazy here. I was hoping for maybe a little bit more solo-y type stuff for Dragoon. Um, maybe stuff that helps them solo more with their Wyvern out. But uh, nothing... I feel like the Dragoon set isn't... isn't quite amazing, you know? But we'll see. Uh, Agwoo set. This is the Blue Mage set. Blue magic skill and magic attack bonus increases breath damage. Sword skill, refresh, strength 10, dex 10. Grants weapon skill damage boost, okay. Accuracy 10, haste 5, double attack, strength 5. Uh, attack 5, 15, haste 3, regen 3, grant, grants dual wield, grants dual wield. Mm. Yes. Grants dual wield. Thank you for that. I love Blue Mage, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Um, Grant's dual wield. That is beautiful, guys. Because Blue Mage can't get dual wield on its own at level 75. They have to get it from a sub job. And now they won't have to. They can sub warrior for the double attack, for the attack bonus, for the berserk, for the war cry. Um, yeah. And the provoke. For the uh, blue mage tanking, never mind. Inside joke. Um, okay, and let's see here. All right, so sword skill, accuracy, haste, double attack. Okay, um, haste more, region three. That's cool. Dex three, uh, magic accuracy, magic magical critical hit rate, MP recovered while healing. Okay, that, that's the legs of a big thing right there. A dual wield. Alright, Corsair. Marksmanship skill, store TP, magic attack bonus. Uh, 
Magic attack bonus. Magic attack bonus. Um, magic defense. Rapid shot. Luzov's curse. What is that? I don't know. Magic attack bonus again. Guys. Magic attack bonus on Corsair at this level. Very good. Very good. Very good. Some of his, uh, what was it? Um, last stand? Is it last stand? That does, like, magic damage? Yeah. Magic accuracy. Magic attack bonus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was the Ikega's, Ikega's Vests. Um, the Puppet Master gets the Thurandot, Thurandot, Thurandile set. That is the uh, little, the, that, uh, a chapeau set from the, um, from Seekers of Adargan. Um, okay. Hand-to-hand -hand skill. Automaton refresh. Okay. Um, start servant again. Double attack. Haste, uh, strength 10, dex 10. That's cool. Attack accuracy. Haste. Martial Arts 4, that's cool. That's really good. Martial Arts 4. That's, uh... Is that word Monk? Who's Martial Martial Arts? Bear with me. Martial Arts. Martial Arts 4. Pup doesn't only get till, till, till 87. That's a Monk 46. So, at 75, Monk, monk already has Martial Arts 6. Um, which is 300 delay. So, Pup getting Martial Arts 4, uh, when they normally have Martial Arts 3 at 75, they get Martial Arts 4. That is a minus 20 delay, so... Reduces attack delay by 2, effect of each rank. Anyway, it's faster attacks, so that's cool. Um, magic attack bonus for automaton, regen effect, okay, so nothing spectacular here going on, just basic, uh, basic, uh, damage dealing stuff looks like. Dancer, uh, gets, uh, waltz potency, uh, dancer has the rawhide set. Um, accuracy attack, dagger skill, um, tactical parry, good stats, attack accuracy, damage taken, accuracy, grants conserve TP, okay. Dual wield plus one doesn't, uh, it already doesn't need a grants tool wield, already has it. So that's cool. Um, I don't know a ton about Dancer Endgame, I usually just level it for a sub job. So, I mean, haste, damage taken, accuracy, and attack, all good. Scholar set, I'm not gonna be able to comment much on this besides uh, similar to Black Mage stuff dark arts, magic accuracy, intelligence, spell interruption rights, enhances sublimation, that's good. Um, whatever that means. Uh, magic attack bonus, uh, healing magic. Okay, so um, Scholar is kind of like the same, it looks like, but maybe just some different bonuses on different spots that will help for macroing different sets. Um, Geo, refresh on the head, attack bonus, critical hit rate, life cycle, I'm not sure what that is, physical damage taken minus seven. Okay, that's good. Damage taken, Lupon damage taken minus seven. Lupon region. Once again, I don't know much about Geo. It all sounds like GeoE stuff, though. Rune Fencer. Rune Fencer is uh, all Mark set for that one. Merlin except for that. Uh, the Eshite set for Rune Fencer. Rune Fencer are, are already good at magic damage, magic magic damage mitigation. Um, so increases resistance to all status ailments. Okay, that's good. The body decreases regular damage taken. Grants HP boost. That's good. Reduces enemy decrease when taking damage. Um, grants accuracy bonus, MMD plus 5, haste, reverse 2% of damage taken to MP. That having it on a just a piece here, um, that's pretty good, right? I don't know if they've had that before though. Magic evasion, magic defense bonus, so it'd be kind of uh, the same, just a, the same uh, magic defense and magic evasion type of situations going on here. And I think that's it. So. Um, enough of me talking for 50 minutes. Um, the Warrior, Crystal Warrior talk page, that's basically look like a little bit of a, a forum type situation. Um, not quest points, I don't have to talk about that. This like, looks like with a very, un, very incomplete uh, page here, so uh, I won't discuss it much. Anyway, um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, if you uh, help me get to 1,000 subs, I can start making some money on YouTube here. So I would appreciate that. Um, I'm going to... So, once again, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you soon in the next video. And see you later.